everyone welcome back to another exos heroes episode so my wish actually came true and fc sabrina will be out by tomorrow we'll be discussing what her fate curve gives us and the other details but before that if you wanted updated exos heroes content please hit the subscribe button it's down below okay so for fc sabrina she's called el dorado sabrina so notice fate court chance up sabrina has become an idol in the parallel world of a new timeline so she's the leader of the idol so leader of a col co collaboration unit group with eden so probably she's the manager eden probably is the co-manager so she has a knack for scouting talent blah 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 she's dropping tomorrow april 22nd after the maintenance actually yeah a april 22nd after the maintenance and she's going to be out for a week as you all know already so again um i can't comment more on her design i'm speechless man speechless love her design love her costume uh, love those legs uh, legs for days okay so again costume design sweet very good very timely very k-pop and again i like the weapon it's actually very good in design i'm actually tempted to pull for a weapon just because she looks great in this weapon but let's move forward first don't get me too excited guys don't get me too excited so again for her fate core ability it has an attack of 61 Defense of 50, health of 238, and an additional combat power of 10,800. And her fate core, instead of giving a nation buff, it's going to give a buff on a on attack type heroes. So good news for everybody. So for those who are planning to pull for her, all nations will be affected, but only attack type heroes, which is actually... Um, at this point, favorable for the Nombe because most of their team is actually built around attack again. But this applies to Wasted Red. So I checked earlier because Wasted Red is my team. So Radley's affected, um, Annie's affected, and also Schmidt is affected actually because he's attack. Um, Maggie is affected. Um, for Greenland, you have Rera, you have um, you have Bathory affected by attack by this one so again this is just her base bonus okay just for one fate core as you fusion her fate core with multiple multiple times this what they call this this increase actually increases i'm sorry this um stat addition actually increases so i'm not sure how big the bump is unless we you know i i try to fusion her tomorrow Definitely, I'm going to pull for her. I'm going to give my unbiased, you know, um, uh, what do you call this? Unbiased uh, review of her FC. Right now, she actually, in terms of giving attack to all of the nations, I think you should pull for her. That's it. Based on the the buffs that that she gives, which which you know, um, which which uh, all nations can really um, benefit from. So that's it. Um, I, I don't think you'll be using her for PvP unless you don't have other, you know, other heroes to bring. But for the buff alone, every nation should have her. So that's it. That's it for me. So the buff will be strengthened when you proceed with blue fate core fusion. Again, as I said, during grades A, A through E are randomly determined and changed to the maximum minimum range values according to capability if if more than once it will be randomly determined among the higher fusion levels in that current level so here's an example um fusion grade e so basically e is your lowest so first fusion is this is your range max min for for combat power it's three to four it actually it's it, it has a gradual increase for the attack which is actually very important she it's four five d two fusions would be seven um nine nine to ten eleven to thirteen fourteen to fifteen for a 
Okay. So basically, it it won't be that big. Ideally, if you have three fusions for her, it's it's really good. Nine percent, ten percent. But again, if you could go all the way to all the way to A, the better. So fusion five for A. So again, here are the stats that you can, you know, have as an addition to your 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 attack heroes once you have FC Sabrina fusion from E to A. Okay. So again for her skills, so her skills is counter um, counter 3, gains mana if the target dies, gains mana 1 if the health of the target is 70%. She has also Dragon Blessing, so increase the damage dealt to dragons with the Dragon Scale of Order activated by 250%. Overtime effect, decrease the enhanced Dragon Fang effect used by Fire Element Dragon, so you can bring her on Fire Element Day. Okay, she actually has Superstar and Fan Club. This is actually... Um, similar to or wait, superstar targets afflicted with attention mark for seven turns when the skill hits, increase all damage of time. Okay, this is actually the the passive of uh, I think Zunai. So fan club increases target with fan mark. Yeah, fan mark. Um, the, a triggers double team from all living allies if the health of the enemy with fan. With anti-fan is 30% or lower. So definitely a passive which Janai got in her group. So I think this is with Synergy 1. So not not the not the Synergy 2. Okay. So this is in addition to her fate core as well. Um, but for S1 and S2, I'm sure there aren't changes because this is actually a blue fate core that she has. So as a precaution, Eldorado Sabrina is blue rated fate core. The probability of recruiting her is 0.5%, um, similar to a gold fate core. You earn one recruit mileage for each recruiting hero 11 times, 28 core mileages for you to obtain her as a guarantee recruit. So hopefully I could have luck tomorrow and I could pull for her. Again, the additional buff in attack is actually worth it. And any nation can actually benefit from the additional attack as long as they have attack type heroes. Okay, her weapon is called El Muerto, or Muerto is, I think, death. Um, if 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 my Spanish is right, but um, so she has actually a good weapon design. So Sabrina's exclusive weapon, a special sword with a powerful shine in appearance. It shines brighter as the stage becomes heated. Again. If I have extra zest, I'll try to recruit for this just for the aesthetics of it. I'm really a fan of her design. Um, but again, I would recommend for those of you who plan to, to, to pull for her exclusive weapon, I would suggest not. Because um, again, for especially for those who, who do not have the capability of, of getting more zest uh, through a purchase, um, don't pull for exclusive weapon. You can actually um, get this at uh, random at the door to creation if you are that lucky. But more or less, this will be hard to get. But again, the exclusive weapon is not that important. If you really like Sabrina like I do in terms of her design, in terms of her exclusive weapon, then you can pull for it. But again, I overall, I would not recommend you guys to pull for her weapon at as this at, at this point. Because again, the fate core, the, the weapon chance is also 0.5%, similar to a gold fate core and also 28 core mileages. So, okay, that is it for FC Sabrina. So more or less, again, guys. Don't pull for the exclusive weapon unless you're a fan of FC Sabrina. Again, it's it's not really a must. The only must that you should pull is for her Fate Core, which would give you attack bonuses for your attack type heroes, which is here. And again, let's have a last look at her design. Very long legs. Again, cool design. Can't say more about her design. Again, I'm I'm struck. I'm at awe, and I'll be summoning for her tomorrow. I'm sorry, but I really want to. I saved enough sets for her around 20,000, so I'm going to pity her definitely, but 
I think it's up to pity because I have to save for for the next gold fate core that's going to come. And that is it, guys. So again, if you have any comments, suggestions, put them down in the comment section below. Okay. For those who haven't subscribed yet to my channel, please do. Most of my viewers, around 85% have not subscribed yet so please subscribe because this helps my channel a lot again guys take care always stay safe this is the warden and i'm out of here see you tomorrow for a summoning session